Beans. Hello. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and... I'm Brandon. And we're going to be taste testing some strawberries. We have three different kinds of fancier strawberries. They're all kind of at a higher price point yeah. than conventional strawberries. And we'll tell you which ones we're going to taste test, how much they cost, and then we'll tell you our honest thoughts. Yes. So first, these are just long stem strawberries. There's nothing special about them besides they are huge and they have long stems. So these are meant for more desserts like chocolate dipped strawberries and stuff like that. Yeah, but, presentation. Yeah, these would be the... Uh, Technically the lowest the price. The lowest price, yeah. It's just that it's a bigger box than like the other stuff we have, so we'll put the price on the screen here. <laughs> um, okay, and then the next one we have is Harry's Berries. Yeah. So these are from Oxnard, California. They are organic, and these strawberries are actually my favorite strawberries, so... Yeah, they're at the farmer's markets. Um, yeah. Brandon introduced me to them, and they're really good. They smell... Really good. Really good, yeah. How so, much are they? Um, these ones are $10.99, so these are like mid-tier. And they're organic. Yes. And then the last one we have is the Oishi Berry. This is an omakase berry, and the most expensive one. So this is, I think, $50 per box. Should I look that up? We should. $50 a box, and there's eight in them. Yeah. So, yeah, but the smell is crazy. Like, yeah, it made my entire car smell like strawberries. I flew these from New York to LA, and let me tell you, I was really embarrassed because the bag was like very fragrant. <laughs> you know, I can smell everything more on the plane. So, there are Japanese strawberries, there's like white ones and gift strawberries. Same thing in Korea, there's a lot of like gift fruit, which are just like very good fruit, and <laughs> it's very expensive. Um, so this is supposed to be chef trusted strawberries. I think it's only in New York, right? From what I can see. Mm -hmm. But you might be able to find something similar at Mitsuo or like a Japanese grocery store. They have some white ones and like very expensive gift strawberries. I wish we had those to try too. Yeah, that would have been really cool. Yeah, that'd be good to compare. Of this one just because we haven't washed it and it's not organic. But <laughs> do you want to save them for later? No. We can wash them and make a small little mixed green salad. Mm. Okay, so they're good. They're just not like amazing. It's just like they're whatever. A, a whatever strawberry. Yeah. You can tell that they were gassed. Um, I'm gonna give this one a three. A three. Um, I'm gonna give it, yeah, I'm gonna give it, well, okay, but let's say you hadn't tried these before and like you only had conventional strawberries. It's not even that sweet for a strawberry. It's, it's it doesn't sour. Taste like it's in season. All right, I give it a five. Okay, next So one. next, we're gonna try the Harry Berries. Get those out of there. We've already had these, so it's kind of shooting, but. Yeah, they're still good. They're different from these. Mm -hmm. Now that I think of it. Yeah. Can I make you to leave? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're very good. Oh, they're, at least they're kind of bitter, actually. Mm -hmm. Right? Weird. Okay. These taste like candy. They're like super, super ripe tasting. <clears throat> There's no like white on it. I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay. Can you guys see the inside of that? How Beautiful it is, probably not. <laughs> yeah. You can see it. I can, it's very pretty. Okay, what do you give it out of 10? I'm gonna give this a very strong 8 out of 10. I think, yeah, it's an 8 out of 10 for me too. I think they're supposed to be different entirely. But there's no like names on them, so how am I supposed to know? Well, I mean, on the website, they had different names. Very cool. special berries. Should we smell first? Smell. Whoa. It smells like candy. It does. It's crazy. 
Look at the holes, they're so big, right? I know. Tryptophobia. <laughs> soda like that yeah. artificial strawberry flavor but not like in a bad way not in a bad way it's good it's just in like an endearing crazy way. strawberry they're not as red on the inside yeah but they don't taste like they're on that crazy they're, they literally taste like candy okay what do you give out of 10 it's so different i feel like this is a nine for me a nine for you yeah because it's like, it's special. I kind of want to carry berries more. Really? Yeah. I feel like this would be good for like special if I wanted just strawberries. Yeah. That would be good for like everything with strawberries. Like cooking with them and you know? <clears throat> yeah. I feel like you should eat these alone because they're so special. And those would be good for like oatmeal and like, you know, baking. Okay, so the top two are Harry's berries and the oishi berries. They're just so different. Mm -hmm. Taste more like super ripe, mm -hmm. and then these taste more like candy. Yeah. So it's just different. I like both. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna be us eating strawberries for two minutes. Probably. I'm gonna give these like a six. A six? Yeah. Really? Because. Because they're novelty. They're yeah. They're just kind of like a novelty. They're expensive, but there's not as much flavor as. Another strawberry. Oh, it's like a different kind of strawberry. I would get them a gift. I would definitely get these as a gift for somebody. So anyways, I think that is the end of our video. That's the end. That's um, let us know in the comments below if you've tried any of these strawberries. Let us know in the comments if you eat the strawberry greens. <laughs> yeah, everyone's been tagging me on Instagram doing it. I didn't think it was like a huge deal. It's just, honestly, you know what it is? It saves you time if you're lazy. It does, it does save it's you time. It's less waste, Yeah. it's less time. You know, just extra fiber. <laughs> okay, okay, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're gonna do another video on Brandon's channel, I think. Yes. I don't know which one will be on which person's channel, but we're gonna do another video where Brandon is gonna be taste testing a bunch of vegan stuff. Yeah. Um, and giving his honest feedback. He's pretty. It's gonna be great. With his feedback. It's gonna be um, great. So yeah, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, um, hit the bell for notifications, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Alrighty, bye. Bye.